Hi everyone, my name is Bindu. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are going to learn about one very, very, very important interview question. And even if you are not preparing for any interviews and if you are just trying to learn Power BI, this topic is very much needed. And that is the difference between Power Query and Power Pivot. In an interview, this question can be asked in a multiple ways and in today's video, we are going to learn the differences between those two and also the number of ways in which an interviewer can ask this question. So without any delay, let's get started. To begin with, Power BI Desktop itself is divided into three parts, Power Query, Power Pivot and Power View. And these three are Excel add-ins, okay? And these three together will make Power BI Desktop. So among these three, the first one is Power Query. The second one is Power Pivot. And the third one is Power View, okay? So what is Power Query? Power, Power Query, you can think of it as an ETL, Extract, Transformation and Load Process. So this Power Query, it does this Extract, Transformation and Load. And the language the Power Query uses to do this extract, transformation and load is M language. Okay, and this M language is the mashup language. So that's Power, so that is Power Query. So once you loaded the data into Power BI using this Power Query, next step is building the relationship between tables. So all this relationship building is done by Power Pivot. So all this table relationships is done by Power Pivot and the language behind creating all those relationships is DAX. So that is about Power Pivot. Coming to Power View, Power the, and the next one is Power View. Uh, Power View, as the name says, it is used for the representation. We are viewing whatever we view on the report is the Power View. Okay. So Power View includes the graphical representation or um, charts or tables, whatever you see. Whatever you see in Power BI report graphically or uh, on tables or on charts is Power Pivot. So, so now we have all three sections covered. Power BI Desktop is divided into Power Query, Power Pivot and Power View. Power query is ETL. Power query does the ETL process. Power pivot it does the uh, it creates it creates the um, relationship between tables and you can also um, do your DAX measures here. You can also create uh, uh, measures. You can also create um, calculated columns here in Power pivot and in Power view it's the representation. You have graphs. You have you have graphs, you have uh, charts, you have tables. All this representation come under Power View. And now let's get into Power BI Desktop and let's see this breakdown in Power BI Desktop. Okay. Now we are in Power BI Desktop. So as discussed, the first section among this, uh, among the three sections in Power BI is Power Query. And this Power Query is about ETL process, extract, transformation, and load. So so extracting the data is getting the data from the source, right? So for that, you click on the get data and get the data from all the different sources that is extract, okay? Uh, for now, I'm getting it from SQL Server and my SQL Server's name is this. I'm giving the server name here and I have a database name, bikes in my uh, SQL server. So I'm just saying okay here. So I'm extracting the data from a uh, SQL server. You can do this, you can extract the data from multiple sources as you. And now I want to select few tables from uh, from the data, uh, from the database. I'm selecting brands, categories and products. Okay, and then here you have an option called transform data. And in our ETL process, this is one step, right? Extract, transform, and load. So let's say uh, um, I want to change the name of the column here. From brand name, I want to change this. 
two brand names for that i transform i click on transform data and now i just rename this column to brand names okay so once this is done you have a new step added here saying renamed columns so this these applied steps so this part if you see here this part is m so in extract transformation and load the behind process the behind language is m language okay and now i'm uh, done with my uh, transformation i just want to close and apply and now with this we are loading the data so now we finished um, and now we finished the load of three tables and our and our power query part is done okay so now the load part is complete that is power query part is done now let's go to power pivot section power pivot section is data modeling okay data modeling you do it here this is the model section right here this is the data modeling and all the relationships created here all this relationships between these tables is power pivot so power pivot is used to create all these relationships between tables and here in power pivot the measures are created you create the calculated columns so all the dax related work is power pivot we have created the relation we we have extracted transformed and loaded the data which is power query our uh, table relationships has been created power pivot is done and now let's move on to power view power view is creating charts graph tables etc and now i'm just creating a simple chart this price and rod and the brand name so this part is power view so now in power bi desktop we have covered all three sections power query power pivot and power view so this is about the difference between power query and power pivot and this question also can be framed as a uh, uh, difference between m and tax language or the difference between um power b uh, or the difference between power query versus uh, power pivot versus power view uh, or the interviewer can also twist this question and ask you um how is power bi divided how what are the sections that are there in power bi or how do you divide or, or how do you break down power bi so this question can be formed in multiple ways so for all of them this is the answer the different describe you need to first um, tell them these are the three parts these are the three sections in power bi power query power pivot and power view and then describe and uh, describe about these three that's all for today if you like this video please hit the like button if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet Please do subscribe. See you in the next video. Thank you.